In this video, you will discover 11 key things that you need to remove from your life, silently. We'd like to encourage you to take an active part in each of these topics. Stay with us until the end, because there's a journey of learning and growth waiting for you. Take this opportunity to reflect deeply and understand more about yourself, and we're confident that the lessons you'll learn will enrich and transform your life. Here goes. If someone lacks character and breaks your trust, you are under no obligation to help them. There is no need to engage in conflict or struggle. The best course of action is to quietly remove that person from your life. In time, the consequences of their actions will become clear. Focus on taking care of yourself and let the future reveal what is best for both parties. Allowing ourselves to move on without needing an explanation is for the greater good. When dealing with someone who has hurt you, there's no need to explain yourself to those who have caused you pain. It's also unnecessary to complain, argue, or confront someone over their bad behavior. If someone has made decisions that have disrespected and hurt you, even if they were someone you thought was a perfect friend, it's better to move on without seeking justifications. Stay calm and rational, focusing on your own growth. There may come a time when that person will need you and seek your support. By respecting our own boundaries and choices, we demonstrate deep self-respect. It's crucial to remember that there is no obligation to associate with individuals who cause us harm or undervalue us. Every single person should be treated with respect and appreciation for their true selves. By quietly removing those who cause us harm from our lives, we make a courageous decision that benefits our emotional well-being and personal growth, enabling us to move towards a more genuine and satisfying life. Second point, unnecessary. At times, you'll recognize the significance of deciding how to act or remaining truthful to your way. You may need to focus on the path that best aligns with your true self, occasionally letting go of specific objectives. It's perfectly natural to encounter such situations as we don't always achieve all that we plan for. In these instances, it's vital to quietly remove any unnecessary goals without announcing your actions. It's important to keep your strategy confidential to avoid leaving any clues or revealing your intentions to the world. When making changes in your life, focus on removing less important goals gradually, proceed with discretion, and stay true to your authentic self. When it comes to relationships, whether it's with friends or in romance, avoid sharing personal details or venting to others. Keep your emotions in check when you're upset. Turn your frustration or anger into productive efforts that advance your life goals. Use your energy to train your body to handle stress. Reflect on your emotions and channel them into something that strengthens you. Be cautious to avoid exposing vulnerabilities by losing control during tense moments. Aim to resolve issues discreetly to dissipate tension. No one has a right to know about arguments or bad situations, as this can only lead to gossip and complicate the situation. If you feel the need to talk, have a conversation with yourself and reflect on what has happened. The urge to share may indicate that there are still unhealed wounds. So whatever the situation, it is appropriate to keep the matter private. If you're dealing with a difficult relationship, it's crucial to address the issue privately and avoid sharing with others. By keeping the matter confidential and dealing with it internally, you can facilitate acceptance and healing while preserving everyone's dignity and privacy. Additionally, it's important to prioritize your emotional well-being by approaching the situation with discretion and wisdom. During times of tension, Try to remain calm and avoid raising your voice in front of others. Take responsibility and use reason as your ally. Avoid broadcasting your difficulties, instead value what and who is already in your life. Cultivate gratitude. Find a way to release emotional pressure quietly. Seek inner balance and healthier ways of facing challenges. If you've made it this far, I'd like to ask you to leave a comment to show that you're really looking for change. Go ahead. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Let's continue point five, avoid sharing your judgments with others. It's not wise to hold negative opinions of others. Think about the impression you give when you speak badly about someone. Instead, aim for constructive dialogue and a positive conversation. Don't ruin the atmosphere by venting negativity. Avoid declaring your likes and dislikes. Learn to be diplomatic. If you don't like someone, it's possible to distance yourself from them or try to maintain a tolerable relationship. To create a peaceful atmosphere and positive connections with others, avoid comparing yourself to them. Each individual has their own journey, 
accomplishments and triumphs that are valuable regardless of how they measure up against others. The practice of comparing ourselves to others can harm our emotional health and limit our personal development. Furthermore, it can lower our confidence by leading us to focus on what we lack instead of recognizing our own strengths and abilities. If you have a problem with someone, engage in dialogue and try to reach a consensus, but discard any opinions or judgments you may have about others. Whether you like or dislike someone, always act diplomatically and show your ability to adapt to the environment when interacting with others. Maintain a respectful and empathetic attitude in your interactions, as this will contribute to a more harmonious environment. When we compare ourselves to others, we lose sight of our own goals and desires. We get distracted from what truly matters and focus on what we think we should have or achieve based on other people's standards. This stops us from moving forward on our own journey and achieving our individual goals. By eliminating comparison, we can be grateful for our own circumstances and celebrate our own progress and growth. Remember, each person has their own unique way and individual circumstances. If you're feeling unproductive or bored, take time to reflect and distinguish purposeful social media use from aimless scrolling. Additionally, it's important to identify signs of social media affecting your mood or self-esteem. If you feel down after using it, consider taking a break. Use this opportunity to pursue activities that bring you joy, such as reading, hobbies, or enjoying nature. By adopting these practices, you not only improve your well-being, but also reconnect with the real world. It's neither fair nor healthy to compare ourselves to others. Each individual has different strengths, challenges, and life experiences, so it's more productive to focus on our own learning and personal growth. The seventh point is to use social media in a conscious way. Imagine that your life is a book filled with fascinating stories, experiences, and adventures. Then imagine social media as a library where millions of other stories are being shared every second. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? but there's a subtle danger. If we constantly compare ourselves to others as we browse through the polished pages of digital stories, we can end up unfairly and unrealistically measuring our difficult times against the highlights of others. This can lead to a cycle of disapproval and resentment that can be damaging. With this in mind, it's important to learn how to limit our consumption of these digital stories. Imagine entering this digital library with a clear purpose to find exactly what you need whether it's connection, inspiration, or something else. Take care of your mental health and find the splendor in your own tale without constantly comparing yourself to others. We all have a distinctive journey comprising ups and downs, victories and hardships. This is what makes each narrative, including yours, priceless and extraordinary. As we say goodbye to this topic, reflect on how you can commence writing the next chapter of your story today while striving for less digital impact and greater attentiveness to the present. Take breaks from social media and return to your own life. Set specific times of day for checking social media, like during breakfast, a work break, or at the end of the day. This creates structure and prevents social media from dominating your time and thoughts. Another helpful approach is to question the intention behind each online interaction. Ask yourself, am I seeking something? Instead of getting lost in social media, focus on the book of your own life. What really matters in life... Let's embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth together. Take control of your life with the guidance of history's greatest philosophers. Stoicism in the 21st century provides a guide to resilience, well-being, and prosperity. Helping to turn challenges into triumphs, stress into strength and uncertainty into clarity. Click on the link in the pinned comment to start your stoic journey to a successful and fulfilling life. Get your ebook today. The pursuit of external validation is prevalent in our world. However, I encourage you to discover the freedom that comes from no longer seeking approval. Imagine being on stage, with bright lights shining on you and a crowd of people eager to judge your actions, words and behavior. Can you see how overwhelming this can be? Now imagine stepping off the stage and into a calm and peaceful environment where your opinion is the only one that really matters. This metaphor highlights the importance of this perspective. Before you make a decision, ask yourself if you really want to do it, or if it's what others expect you to do. Learn to trust your instincts and recognize your desires and needs. Another useful practice is to build your self-esteem by acknowledging your qualities, celebrating your successes, and learning from your mistakes. 
Keep in mind that self-acceptance is an ongoing process, and every small victory should be celebrated. Finally, nurture these habits so that they become part of your daily life. When we prioritize the approval of others over our own inner voice, we lose sight of our true selves and desires. It's like trying to wear ill-fitting clothes just to please someone else. Instead, focus on times when you felt most fulfilled and content. These were likely moments when you were true to your own values and beliefs, regardless of others' opinions. Authentic living means valuing and recognizing your own inner voice, despite external noise. Relationships that support and encourage you to be your best self surround yourself with people who respect your individuality and encourage you to express your true essence by freeing ourselves from the need for external approval. We open the doors to a more authentic and rewarding path. It's a path that allows us to be the true protagonists of our lives, writing our own stories with the ink of authenticity and courage. And with that, we conclude this second topic hoping it serves as an invitation to reflect on how you can end, whether a friendship or a romance. It's natural to feel pain, confusion, and a need to process what happened. However, it's essential to remember that the details of this garden, this shared story, belong only to you and the other person involved by choosing not to divulge intimate details or reasons for the breakup. You're not only preserving the dignity of both parties, but also protecting your own heart. Sharing this information with others can open doors to misunderstandings, judgments, and worse gossip. This doesn't contribute to live a more authentic life true to yourself away from the shadows of others' approval. Ninth point, the way we handle our relationships, whether in friendship or love. Relationships are like mirrors reflecting various facets of our lives, and they bring experiences that shape who we are. But there's a delicate line here, the line of privacy and discretion. Think of a relationship as a secret garden, a place where you nurture emotions, dreams, and special moments. This garden is sacred, a space that deserves respect and care when a relationship healing. Rather, it can prolong the pain and create a cycle of negativity. So how can we deal with the end of a relationship healthily? First, it's crucial to give yourself time and space to heal. Allow yourself to feel the emotions, but do so introspectively if necessary. Seek the support of a mental health professional someone who can provide objective guidance and support. Second, cultivate the habit of personal reflection instead of seeking external validation or comfort turn inward. Ask yourself what you've learned from this. As you close a chapter of your life, do so with grace and dignity, knowing that each experience is preparing you for what's to come. Finally, this third point illuminates how to face the end of a relationship with wisdom. Respect the dignity and privacy of all involved. Think about your life as a great adventure across a vast ocean. Each expectation is like a sail on your ship, helping you to sail towards your dreams and goals. But when they're too big, when our expectations become unrealistic, they can hinder our progress. Ask yourself if your expectations are lifting you up or holding you back, and if they reflect your true self and values. Practice acceptance of where you are in your journey and of circumstances beyond your control. That doesn't mean giving up on your dreams, but it's important to recognize and appreciate the incomplete and difficult process of reaching your goals. Also, it's important to set realistic and achievable goals that are in tune with you. Recognize that the journey is just as important as the destination. Let go of unrealistic expectations to allow life to flow naturally and peacefully, making room for unexpected joy. In closing, I hope this fourth point will inspire you to navigate life with grace. Unrealistic expectations can lead us astray and cause us disappointment and dissatisfaction. They are like maps that promise treasures that do not exist, causing us to constantly chase ideals of perfection in ourselves, others, and the situations we experience. However, we need to question whether these ideals truly belong to us, or if they have been imposed by external influences such as society, culture, or the media. To detach from these expectations, we must first recognize them, this requires honesty. Now that we've come to terms with reality and appreciate the journey with its twists, turns and discoveries, let's look at an often overlooked aspect of our daily interactions that can have a significant impact on our well-being and relationships. Participating in gossip and spreading negativity. In this section, we'll examine how distancing ourselves from these behaviors can not only improve our state of mind, but also the quality of our relationships. Consider every word carefully. 
When our negative conversations cloud our vision of the good and positive, how can we steer towards a brighter path? The first step is to be mindful of the discussions we engage in. When a dialogue turns towards gossip or pointless criticism, try redirecting the conversation to focus on positive aspects of the person or situation. Furthermore, before sharing information about someone, put yourself in their shoes and ask if you would want that information shared about you. This straightforward question can help promote empathy and kindness in our communication. When we use positive language, we plant seeds of kindness and understanding in ourselves and others. But when we gossip or use negative language, we sow weeds of misunderstanding, mistrust and conflict. Talking may seem harmless, even gregarious, but it has consequences. It leads to disrespecting and belittling others and ourselves. When we focus on the negative, we maintain a negative attitude. Creating a supportive environment is vital for positive, respectful conversations. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who value authenticity and positivity cultivates a culture of mutual respect and support. Remember, impactful change begins with you. By choosing not to participate in gossip and negativity, you're not only protecting your integrity, but also setting a positive example for others. Adopting these principles in our lives will encourage respectful and constructive interactions. If you appreciated the video, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications of new videos, and leave a like and comment. We can develop a better, more understanding and tough mentality to enable valid personal growth and more significant relationships with others. Enjoy your journey of wisdom with the Creator, and stay tuned as two more videos will appear on your screen.